planes, you can overpower them. Oh, and it's still, there you go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That way, you know, that way you can get a good snap throw and the wing explodes. That's the best part. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how this thing does in grass, because I have not flown this off grass. Grass is a little sticky today. Is it? I've had to put some flaps down to get the bits right up out of it. You may have to hand lock it. Who knows? Well, I don't know. I don't know if you've got enough power to go through that grass. My ailerons, my ailerons are not connected right. Something happened there. Is that the dynamo? Yes. Yep, it sure is. I got this thing uh, at a swap meet for 50 bucks. Wow. And it needed... I can't remember what it needed. It needed something. Oh, yeah. No, it didn't need anything. It was bond to fly for 50 bucks. You got a wood receiver in it? What yes, orange, yeah. Something happened with my ailerons. I like using her. My ailerons didn't connect for some reason. Does it matter? I don't know, my ailerons didn't engage. Might have got them backwards. Yeah, I did. Put the wire connector backwards. There we go. No, thank you. Put the walk connector in backwards. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's why you always do have got those do those pre-flight checklists when you do that stuff. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you just never know. I had a guy out here did the same thing. He didn't want to check. Oh, no, that's fine. He took off. Straight to the leaves. Yeah. What's wrong with you? I have no elevator or any other one. Why you do it? <laughs> the yeah. pre-flight checklist. Right. Well, I thought it was okay. Thinking and knowing is two different things out here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Let's see what it does now. It's probably cutting the grass. Finicky. That's the full throttle right there. Flies pretty good, huh? Not too bad. It likes to fly slow. Well, that's a DC-3. <laughs> that's anywhere close to scale. You run one battery or two? One. 
That's quarter throttle right there. Yeah. And that's full power. Those are the motors and the props are from a 450 quad. Okay. Uh, the original Dynam motors had the their shaft uh, screw screw shaft driven. Yeah. And I think it was like the first or second flight I broke both of them. Oh crap! Because the props are so close to the ground. Yeah. As soon as the prop touched the ground, it bent the shafts. Bent the, bent the shaft on one side and broke the other. So I just put some, uh, made some modifications, just put the drone props on. And on, the, on these motors, I can fly for 10 minutes of, on 3200. Three cell or? Three cell 22, yeah. It's super, super nice. Are they, uh, the motors turning opposite? No, then it's the same direction. Same direction. Yep. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, you only do it once. Plus, well, pretty nice. I mean, cannot beat it. For, I, I pay 50 bucks for it at, oh, the, at the swap meet. Yeah. Yeah, I've done some repairs to it or whatever for the motors. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's a perfect, perfect flyer. <laughs> Can't ask any for better, right? Better than that. <laughs> the downside, it does not have a turning wheel. Uh, it has a caster wheel in the back. Uh, okay. So unless oh, you're, it just goes pretty much any direction, yeah. it's hard to control. So I just really, really hot glued that wheel glued it, straight. Glued it straight. So it's just much easier to yeah. control. But I mean, other than that, so when you go to land, unless like we're on the concrete at the RCRC, yeah. it will actually turn somewhat. But you really have to get going before it will actually turn. Yeah. Other than that, it just wants to go in one direction and that's yeah. it. Need some uh, bomb drops or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually thought about doing the uh, uh, putting skis on it, not skis, but the pontoons on oh, it, yeah? and try to take off from the lake. I thought it'd be kind of cool, but I'm afraid it's, it's not powerful enough to really get off to, to really get off the water, and especially if you add the pontoons to it. Yeah, you're gonna add some more weight. Add the weight, yeah. And it flies too nice the way it is yeah. to, to mess with it. So when it's calm like this, it's oh, just, yeah. it's really just kind of relaxing flying. It, it, it taps out us eventually at some well, point. Yeah, it's going to. I mean, <laughs> it needs momentum to get up top, get up a, high, a little bit higher. Oh. Uh oh. 
that one time that you don't land right, right? <laughs>